Good morning, welcome to the vlog. Today's vlog is all about my return to UKPW and my first ever match against Simon Miller. But that does start <laughs> with me sitting in this car at 7.35 in the morning, driving around my area, trying to find a gas station that actually gets you gas because there ain't not gonna be no match if there's no way for me to get to Kettenbury and to think I was there yesterday. It's 8.30 at night, the day before tomorrow when you're watching this, and here I am in Catenbury, Catenbury. I still can't say, how do you say this? Canterbury. Canterbury. I'll get it one day. One day. If you have no idea what the hell is happening, in the UK we have a fuel shortage for a few reasons. It's been really hard to get fuel to gas stations. I say gas stations are fuel stations in this country. I don't know, I'm confused. So that does result in David Francisco waking up really early after a week where he didn't have much sleep to drive around as many gas stations as possible and try and find a way to get gas in his car. Wish me luck. Gas me up. Horrible. Horrible. I've been to three gas stations so far and uh, they're all out of fuel. I was hoping, crossing my fingers, that somehow like some of them would got uh, delivery yesterday. Seems like they didn't. I arrived back to London from Ken Ken Cantonbury. Yep, it's me, 10 to 11, and I'm still here in Cantonbury. Gonna make my way down to London now. If you're from Cantonbury, I I'm not doing it on purpose, I promise. I just keep forgetting how to actually say the name. And it's not like I can just, you can just say it like you read it, because if you could, you would have said Leicester. But I digress. Yesterday when I arrived, I did try to go and check a few of the fuel stations in my area to see if they had fuel or not. And it was one o'clock in the morning, so they didn't. And I was hoping that some of them would be restocked, refueled overnight. But they didn't, so we keep trying. There's another one right there. And they don't even have the, the numbers on the sign to say how much fuel costs. Starting to run out of options here. I'm starting to run out of options. That's another one right there with no fuel. Look at that, they're all closed up, just like that, all of them. That makes it number five. I'm making my route in my head and there's four more that I'm gonna try now. We're sorry, but we are currently out of fuel, says the sign by this one. I'm starting to get nervous, I'm starting to get nervous. Just thought of another one that I'm gonna pass by here in the way that I was able to get fuel on last week. And gladly got this red to stop here, right next to it, and I can kind of look at it. It doesn't look like it, does it? Like there's cars passing by, but there's no cars actually getting fuel. Get out of the way, bus. I'm doing a vlog. Start spreading the news. I'm staying today. There'll be no match with Simon Miller. No fuel, no fuel, this vagabond car ain't going nowhere. If I can't find somewhere to refuel my car, my car. Right, there's two more here. One of them I have no faith because it's a Tesco one. We'll see how the other one goes. Oh, oh it's yellow. There we go. One right here. I mean, there's cars there. Excuse me, sir. Oh, there's people fueling. Oh, this one's go. This one's a go. This one is a go. I'm gonna check that one though. I'm not confident, but I'm gonna. I actually can see it from here. That one is the Tesco one. There's cars there as well. There's queues, but that's okay. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I'm surprised about this one because I haven't seen this one with fuel ever since the, the crisis started. We're getting fuel! I got really excited and then I realized it's still need to wait. I gotta wait a lot. Yeah! Finished our journey. Northgate Center is right here. We've arrived. Where's the staff parking? That's the question here. 
Say hi to Kira, Kira Kamara, and Jordan's behind the fucking phone. <coughs> Where do I park? That hey, Nail! Where do I park? I'm sorry, Martin. Is this what? a tag rope? Yes. You have tag ropes? We're professionals. Don't you have tag ropes? I'm cutting this out of the vlog. This part's not coming in. <laughs> I, I, you, you, know, you know you have a ref in the team that's managing the show when you have tag rope. Look at that. And it's the color. You have a red tag rope on the red corner. Right? And then you have a blue tag rope on the blue corner. Look at that. It's part of everything. It's part of everything. Tag ropes mean the main event. That's crazy. Grab I need the height. I need the height. Doors are open. Doors are open. You want to say hi? Hi. Yeah, the camera's there. Oh, hi. Who are we talking to? Just my, my, my audience. Oh, your audience. Yeah, that's how we do things now. YouTube channel. Hi, audience. YouTube channel. This is this is Jade's hand. I was going to say, you can't see any of it. <laughs> <laughs> right, let me talk to you while I put my boots and, and my knee pads on. This match is actually a interesting story. I don't know the best way to put it. So basically, Simon Miller has been very publicly about how he has trained and developed a lot under my tutelage. He's a great student. He's a very good student. And today is actually the first time that we get to face each other. And before we go into the specific case of Simon Miller, I think this is the first time that I'm actually wrestling someone that I've somehow trained at a deeper level than just an advanced level. So people that were just already ready for shows, right? Um, someone that had a hand in actually developing them almost from the beginning. I can't say that Simon was delivered to me as a trainer from scratch. It's a uh, pretty, cool situation for me and i'm sure it would have happened more if it hasn't been for the pandemic but i'm sure that things like that will start popping up in the next year 18 months i will have more opportunities of wrestling against or side by side with people that i've trained that i've started in wrestling or that i've had a big hand in developing and that's pretty cool by the way as soon as i have news about a wrestling school opening in london that i'll be teaching at I'll share it here with you guys. In the specific case of Simon, it's actually really cool because we've been talking about this for a very long time. The first time we kind of faced off at a wrestling show was at a New Force Wrestling uh, show years and years ago. That may be on the vlog. And here we are. Now we're finally wrestling each other. It's time for the boots. He's pretty excited and to be honest, so am I. I'm looking forward to it. Now, once the bell rings, I'm there to win a match. If it needs to be over Simon Miller, over someone that I have a pretty good relationship with, outside of the bell ringing, then it is what it is. It's not even a conflict of interest. It's not even a thing where my heart may be torn about it. It's just, it's part of the job. Sometimes you're gonna wrestle your friends. Sometimes you're gonna have to hit them really hard. Sometimes they're gonna have to hit you really hard. I'm putting that to the side, I'm pretty relaxed. I'm pretty ready to go. And I think it'll be a very enjoyable afternoon for everybody, probably except for Simon. Thank <laughs> you. 
very fun to finally be able to wrestle Simon Miller after we talked about it for years, basically. And he's getting better. He's getting better. He does have a great work ethic, and I respect and commend that. It was definitely a fun experience, and hopefully it will happen again. In fact, I'm pretty sure it will happen again. You'll be able to see that match on the UKPW YouTube channel. It will be released at some point pretty soon. Maybe released already by the time you're watching this. I'll leave a link to the channel there, or on the description below. And of course, that match and a few of my recent matches that are public for Purpose, for WrestleForce, for EKPW are all on a playlist with my full matches that I'm also gonna leave there or on the description. If you wanna see me wrestle live soon, a few dates that I have upcoming, I'm returning to UKPW on the 31st of October, Halloween day for Tables, Ladders and Scares in Faversham. That should be a fun one. Keep the momentum at UKPW. I am returning to France. We are finally doing this. This cage match between myself and Tristan Archer on the 5th of November. And of course, Purpose Wrestling returns on the 10th of December to Wimbledon. Make sure you get your tickets. All the information should be as well for this show and all the other shows we talked about on the description below. And if you just want to keep up and make sure that you're the first to know, then follow me on his favorite platform, DeFrancisco underscore one should be my username there. If you'd like to know more, ask me a few questions, just see directly interact with me. I will be live on Thursdays, FRN Live here on my YouTube channel from seven o'clock British time. Maybe not every Thursday, but I tend to be live on Thursdays. You can just know exactly when I'm going live on my social media channels. Check out some of my most recent vlogs, my most recent video, it's all there. And I'll catch you here next time. Cool?